Roxanne Groom shares the dream of many artists to pursue only her passion, but marrying that with a successful livelihood is all too often rare. Well, if I had my way about it, um, and I'm, that's why I love this mentorship program, I would be doing this full time. I'd like to be able to make a living. She's talking about the San Diego Fine Arts Society's mentor program and the impact its founder and program's mentor are making in San Diego. They're creating the binding thread for a loosely woven community. What's missing in San Diego is a sense of community. And people like April Game and Alex Salazar um, are really bringing a voice to San Diego to help get the art scene thriving. And what they're doing in particular, which is awesome, is they are really looking at San Diego artists and they're giving them uh, an opportunity to really get their art out there and, and have a statement made for San Diego in general. We live in the shadow of LA, we live in the shadow of even, you know, Chicago and New York. Um, but what they're attempting to do and what we are doing as we get to know other artists inside this community is we're building some like concrete base to to grow this scene on. Through the program, Roxanne is fine-tuning her artistic voice and developing her unique style of combining textures to produce a work of art with philosophical expression. This type of art that I'm doing is more about how people occur to me and it's not the truth, it's just the way they occur to me. As I'm doing it, I guess I am kind of looking at why do I feel that way about that person? And that's why I call them masks. There's nothing permanent about these. It's just who they are for that moment in time and how I react to them. It allows me to maybe see past the temporary state of this and look at them as just a human being. Roxanne combines textures and stitching on canvas to express her message. These two are individuals I know, and it's really a basic uh, theme here. This one, there's a, I feel there's a lot of like ug ugliness and, and maybe some almost a diseased look happening here, but the person on the outside is absolutely beautiful. But sometimes we look at someone and we see the beauty, but they can open their mouth or they can have some kind of action take place that just totally wipes their beauty out. And so what I've done here is I want the, these, this mask or like glasses to be beautiful and I'm stitching them in gold metallic thread. And that is kind of the outside of this person. And this person is ugly by the standards of society but because they have such a sweet heart and love about them, um, I could see past that. So what I'm doing here is I'm surrounding them with all this kind of organic, flowery type of, of movement. This one here is kind of a self-portrait and I call it being in the goo, although it's really the fourth painting I did in this series. And it's really about um, how I'm feeling in relationship to all of these people that I've painted. It's not exactly a happy face. It's more like this state of surrender and melting and being adaptable and being tired. The self-portrait may seem dreary, but Roxanne is inspired and driven to make her passion her career. I don't know if you have a choice if you're an artist. Um, it's just something that is part of who you are. Creating art, making a statement, um, having friends in this community, supporting this community in the arts. I'm Phoebe Chong Chua for Art Pulse TV.